A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. Today I'm here with a young lady that suffered the same situation that I had and still have just a few months ago. Her name is Kareem Mowat and she have what is your problem? Yes, I have unstable angina. She mm -hmm. has unstable angina. Mm -hmm. No unstable angina is when the heart is not beating at the rate that it ought to be. Say the heart is supposed to beat 70 times per minute and it only beats 40 times per minute, then something is definitely wrong. It slows the body down, she feels chest pain, she can hardly walk sometimes, and she feels tired. I had those experiences, except for the chest pain, but I couldn't move sometimes. I had to move like a turtle or a snail. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be talking with her talking to her about her conditions, and then I'm gonna be appealing to you through Real Helping Hands, a crowdfunding platform, and asking you to assist this young lady because the journey that she's on costs a pretty penny. Karine, how you do? I am here now. Um, I'm hanging in there. Well, I love the way that you're enthusiastic and you're optimistic because you have to be optimistic with your condition. When did you notice that you have a problem? Let me tell you, it's January. January, I was feeling a lot. January of yes, this, year? this year? Yes, okay. January of this year. I was feeling a lot of chest pain, terrible chest pain. My chest normally pain me, you know, but it's the first I was feeling this type of discomfort. I, it was unbearable and I started to cry in the morning. And I remember it was a Wednesday morning, like the first January in Wednesday, in, in the first Wednesday in January, I was crying so much because the pain was so excruciating. And then my head started hurting me. I, I, I woke up in the hospital the Thursday morning. That's when I realized I was at the hospital. And I asked my husband, what am I doing here? And he said he got a call from work. Um, a police called him from Seaport Station saying they are sending ambulance up by my home or he should go by the hospital because I passed out my daughter call and was crying so much that I, I passed out and was unresponsive but all she knew I was crying for my chest from morning and my head and I spent a week in the hospital after a few days about three four days in the hospital they drew blood from me i did electrocardiogram i did um echocardia yes but every time they take me to do those special doctors are paying special attention to the the result whatever they got out from the machine but it, it was a cause for concern and I know what they say what was the outcome of those electrocardiogram and echocardiogram the, the, examinations it, it didn't show much only thing uh, the first one showed that the, the, the heart wasn't beating properly the rate was very low 
Yes. Okay. Yes, the rhythm was very low, okay, you know, it printed out on the paper. Yes, and after they did the blood test now, the blood test came back that I have um, acute coronary syndrome, which that is where they said I have radiocardia and some and also agile syndrome. Those things they said my heart was presenting at the time. And then I left the hospital with medications after seven days. And under a lot of injections that I got for the seven days, because every four hours they would inject me, give me in my shoulders, I would get it through the axis, and when the shoulders are sore, I get it on the thighs. And then when I go home and taking the medication, they give me some blood thinner and stuff, I realize that no man, this chest pain is so unbearable, and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So my husband took me back to the hospital. And then I went to do an electrocardiogram. Then they sent me to do um, 24 hour ultra monitor. I did stress echo, and the stress echo was inconclusive. They did pulmonary angiogram on my lungs. They did a lot of things. They did fluoroscopy on my stomach and my chest and all of that. And then the cardiologist finally confirmed that I have unstable angina and I was placed on this pill called Procolaran. I have to take morning and evening in order to slow down the pressure, to slow down the pressure in the heart so that the heart gets enough oxygen to pump blood properly because the heart is not getting enough oxygen. And I have to take the nitrous that under my tongue to help with the chest pain. Let me tell you, this thing it's unbearable and right now I have to do the doctor recommend that I do an angiogram but PCIJ and University Hospital is saying that I have to pay for an angioplast because if they are doing an angiogram and they see the black arteries they have to stop in the surgery in order to fix the black arteries so I have to pay for the angiogram and without that, an the angioplast instead of the angiogram, which is 875,000. And without that angioplast, I won't be able to do hernia surgery that I am awaiting. Yes, I am awaiting hernia surgery. And because of the art, I can't do that. And I also have a damaged right shoulder, which I'm waiting to use PRP surgery to fix as well. Ladies and gentlemen, as you have heard, Kareen Mawat explained her conditions, one after the other after the other. I'm going to tell you the truth, you're in pretty bad shape. And you need help ASAP. You need help from last year. Yeah, so you understand where I'm coming from. I had to do an angiogram. And the cheapest money for the angiogram that I paid was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And the angiogram is just to show if there's a blockage in the heart. What they do is they make an incision on your wrist, then they insert a tube all the way up into your heart. I was conscious right through the procedures, and they pump dye into those tubes and the dye will go up into your arteries in your heart and when they put your heart in this x-ray machine they can see where the dye is going if it's passing through freely through the different arteries well i have to give thanks to the almighty they had suspected that some of my arteries were black but the doctor came back and said, well, Big Stone, we have good news for you. None of your arteries are black. But you still have some swollen issues that you have to deal with. So I understand exactly what Kareen Mowat is going through. And that's why, even though I'm not feeling 100, what I had was to get up out of my comfort zone and come over here and talk with her and then appeal to you. 
to see how best through real helping hands you can help her. How many children do you have? I have two kids, one son, one daughter. You have a son and a daughter. Okay, you're married, but your husband is not making a whole lot of money no, to be able to deal with your surgery. All right, well, I know the CEO for Real Helping Hands, and I'm going to speak to him as soon as I finish this video, and I'm going to ask him to start a crowdfunding for you. Now, a crowdfunding is a platform just like GoFundMe, but it's this platform is operated for Caribbean people. The CEO himself is Jamaican, so he came up with this idea that you don't have to be living in the United States of America or Canada or England for you to be able to activate a GoFundMe. So that's why he created a crowdfunding platform like Real Helping Arts. Now, he has helped a number of people. I've seen where he has helped Tiger. I did the interview with Reggae Star Tiger when he had a stroke. And we raised quite a bit of funding for Tiger. Recently, Peanut Dread. I did an interview for Peanut Dread and the support keep coming in. People from all over the world has contributed to support Peanut Dread in his endeavor. What do you want to say to the people out there? I want you to look in the camera and pour your heart out, asking them for help. Everyone out there who is watching this channel and seeing this video, locally, internationally, globally, I am appealing for your help. Please, I am asking for your help in order for me to live a less pain-free life. That's what I'm asking. Please, help Karin smile again. That's all I'm asking. Ladies Please. and gentlemen, every time she explained her conditions, I understand because I had similar experiences. Walking from here to where the camera is was a very, very tiresome task for me. So I'm asking you on her behalf, I'm using my platform on her behalf, please help her. Help her because she wants to live. Help her because she has two children to live for. Help her because her husband doesn't make the money to be able to sustain the hospitalization, all the different tests that she has to do. And I'm telling you, in Jamaica, if you don't have money, you're going to die. So I'm asking you once again, we're going to be creating a real helping hand platform for Kareem Mawad. And I'm asking you, please, go to that real helping hand platform. Support Kareem and help her to live. That's all she wants. She's a pretty young woman. How old are you now? I am 39. She's only 39 years old. I am 65. I was in my 64th year when I had my problem. And I still wanted to live because I still think that there's much more that I can do. So as a person who has been in the similar condition as Kareem Mowat, I can speak of the pain that she's going through. You're a very strong woman. You're not even as half as big as me. But for you to sustain that pain, it tells me that you have inner strength. So please, help her. Kareen, I wish you all the best. God bless you. I'm gonna try my best to push this as much as I possible can so that we can reach a whole lot more people and a whole lot more people. If everybody in the world Put one dollar, that's seven billion dollars. You, you that you could have one hundred million people that with that so kind true. of money. So we're asking you for those who are on my channel, my fans, my subscribers, my new fans, my new subscribers, help her. The link is right below. Kareem Mowat needs to help. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. 
please like and share this video. And for those who cannot make a contribution, you still can help Kareen by sharing the video. And when you share the video, the video might just end up with someone who can help. Thank you so much for your effort. Have a great day.